Hi everyone, I'm Tim Van Orden, and this is Start Here. Today I want to talk about starting as you are. Not just where you are, but as you are. Kind of sounds like a place in the Lord of the Rings where they need to journey to. As you are. We're going to as you are. <laughs> well, today we are. We're going to as you are. People often say to me, how can you be so vulnerable in your videos? How can you be so transparent? How can you be so honest? How can you share the things that you do? Aren't you scared of doing that? Aren't you afraid somebody's going to judge you or attack you or use that against you? Or aren't you embarrassed that somebody's going to see that truth? That stuff that you're ashamed of? That stuff that you don't want anybody to see? You're showing it to us. How can you do that? Well, it's not easy. But I really don't have a choice because living a life pretending to be someone else pretending to have a different past, pretending to have no wounds or no flaws or no weaknesses, is harder than showing it, exposing it, accepting it, embracing it, and being it. Living a life of pretense is hollow and empty and shallow and we're never fulfilled. We never experience love. We never really connect because we're keeping everybody at a distance because we don't want them to see our truth. This makes me think about something I heard a while ago about the monarch butterfly. Before a butterfly can become a butterfly, it has to go through other stages. And the first stage is the larval stage, which is the caterpillar. Not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it's destined for beauty. It's destined for grace and it's destined for elegance, but it doesn't start there. It starts out as a chubby little strange looking worm. And that worm can only eat one thing. There's only one food source for the monarch caterpillar, and that's milkweed. Milk weed. It's a weed. To a human being, it's an annoyance. There's no reason to celebrate the milkweed. It's not a rose or any other kind of beautiful flower. It's not a fruit-bearing tree or bush. It's not a vegetable that we can eat. It really serves no purpose to a human being. We even call it a weed. It's a milk weed. But to a monarch caterpillar, it's life. They can't live without it. And the reason I bring this up is that many of us are milkweed. We're not roses, we're not lilies, we're not orchids, we're not morning glories. We're not banana trees or fig trees or kale or corn or any of the other celebrated plants that human beings love. We're just milkweeds. And we look around and we see the roses in the world and we're like, I want to be a rose. Everybody loves roses. And we pretend to be something that we're not. We shun our inner milkweed. We say, I'm not a milkweed. No, I'm not a milkweed. Look, I'm a rose. Look, rose. <laughs> we dress like a rose. I talk like a rose. I walk like a rose. I act like a rose. But I'm not a rose. Whatever type of personality we see people celebrating, that's what we want to be. Anything but ourselves. Anything but a milkweed. Nobody loves a milkweed. And 6.9 billion people may not appreciate milkweeds. The vast majority of the population of the earth may not appreciate or celebrate milkweeds. But there is a small percentage that does. There is a small percentage that must have milkweeds in order to survive, in order to grow, and in order to transform into something beautiful. A butterfly. If you're hiding your nature as a milkweed, the monarch caterpillars of the world, who are your soulmates, who are your kindred spirits, they can't find you. They're looking. They're like, I need a milkweed. But I can't find any. And the milkweeds are so ashamed of being milkweeds that they're pretending to be banana trees. And they're like, look at all my bananas. And they post pictures of Facebook of all their bananas or all their mangoes or whatever else. Meanwhile, they're just a milkweed. But they're like, look at me. I'm a banana man. And the monarch caterpillar is like, milkweed, where are you? And you're like, not here. I'm not a milkweed. I don't know nothing about milkweeds. And what happens is that caterpillar starves. It dies. 
it never gets the chance to blossom and to transform into something beautiful and elegant. When you shun your truth, when you hide it and you shame it and you keep it away from the world, you cover it up and you pretend to be something else, you take away the very things that nourish certain people in the world. There may only be a small number of them, but they need you and they need your truth. They need you to be a milkweed and you need to accept them as a caterpillar. You can't say, well, I'm not a milkweed and there's no way I'm going to settle for a caterpillar. Excuse me, I want a butterfly. I don't want a caterpillar. Well, how do you think the butterfly becomes a butterfly? Because a milkweed is brave enough to stand there and say to the world, I'm a milkweed and I'm proud of being a milkweed. I'm not afraid of it. And I'm going to stand here and I'm going to be the best milkweed I can be. And if you come over and you nurse of my fruit, then maybe you'll transform into the butterfly that you've always wanted to be. And then together we can live happily ever after. <laughs> or something like that. So that's why I share what I do and that's why I'm not ashamed of it. Because I am a milkweed. And if there's any monarch caterpillars out there watching, hi. <laughs> so don't be afraid to embrace your inner milkweed. It may be the very gift that's going to attract love and affection and connection and transformation into your life. All right. I love you. Bye.